if you jumped into lava? Well, first, let's see what happens if lava faces the world's most ultimate enemy, these little shredder machines, which somehow seems to be beating the lava. What? There's no way. If these things can beat lava, they literally can beat anything on Earth. Bro, it's beating the lava. How? There's no way. I mean, this is literally rock. It's clear to me that those are literally unbeatable, but what if you put it against an iPad? Pretty nice iPad too. It's even got that fingerprint touch ID. I would imagine the iPad loses and this is similar to what's gonna happen to your body. But I don't know if you're gonna crack like that. Like maybe your bone cracks, it's hard to say. Now, this is something probably less people have experienced. That's pouring lava straight onto your car's windshield. Uh, maybe, maybe you do this to your ex. I mean, I wouldn't recommend it. I don't know where you're gonna get lava either, but like this is the only case I could ever see somebody doing that is to their ex, which really didn't do that much damage, surprisingly. Let's get another pour on there. Oh, pick it up. Wow, look at that. That's pretty crazy. It looks like a meteor hit the car. There you go, guys. Oh, oh, a double break. Melts right through it. Let's try an iPhone here. We're just gonna dip it. Oh, the dip. That lasted way longer than I feel like it should have. That's about as long as I feel like I would last if I was thrown inside of a lava pit. I don't know about you. Maybe you're lasting longer than me, but I'm not lasting more than five seconds. Oh, Muscle Man. I never had one of these as a kid because I played with GI Joes because they were way cooler than little Muscle Stretch Man. Bro's actually like pretty much invincible. He's literally taking a hot tub and literally pure fire. And okay, now he looks like a demon. Isn't that crazy how quick you go from looking like a normal human to a demon? Boom, just like that, demon. Wow. All right, well, you turned to, you just melt. Your body could melt. All right, let's try a classic MacBook. Um, interesting. Oh, how about poops that sound a little bit like that? Felt like that too, honestly. Have a little bit of spicy Indian food, some tikka masala. Feels just like that popping out. In fact, this might be the best example and metaphor that I can show anyone for how it feels after you eat spicy food. Bro, you get that like little, like, you know what I'm saying? Like imagine that coming out your butt. Nitrogen's a little different though. Onto the lava, it begins rapidly cooling it. But cooling it completely is going to take a lot more liquid nitrogen whoa, 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 than we whoa, whoa, have. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's pretty cool. Liquid nitrogen is very cold. That's the extent of my knowledge on liquid nitrogen. All right, let's try a diamond, which is probably not real. This looks like glass, but oh, that's so satisfying. Wow. Oh, that's so cool. Look at that. Bro, the diamond didn't even budge. Maybe it is a real diamond. It doesn't even look like it melted. That is literally the coolest thing I have ever seen today so far, but it's about to get even cooler because now it's a meat grinder. Look at this thing, bro. Are you serious? Take a lava, pour it in the meat grinder, grind it up. Oh, just fake out. Just kidding. We're going to go in now. He didn't like that piece. I was a little bit. Oh, he ruined it with the drip. Bro, I can't even see it. It's not even grinding. That's it. It just breaks instantly. Oh, man. I bet they have this sick idea of it like flowing out with like little noodles of lava, little spicy noodles. And they got nothing. Just turned into a rock. This is a rare video. No one has seen this. No one's experienced this. Wow. Lighters with lava on them. Think about that, guys. You're a rare percentage of the human race that has seen this. And all of your ancestors have never seen it. It's impossible. Like, you were the first person in your entire line of ancestors to ever see lava being poured on lighters. Or a Coca-Cola. Cola pyramid. Oh, nice. It explodes. Oh, that seems dangerous. Don't do this at home. Wow. I can see why he's backing away, even with all that protection. That is literally like exploding lava everywhere. I don't know about this, guys. I'm not doing it. Let's get a little more intense. Magnetic balls. Because why not bring magnets into this? Let's see what that does. Ooh. Uh, it looks like you're making some eggs. Just like they're orange. Oh, it melted. I like how we didn't even bother to frame the camera. Oh, there we go. A little better. Like, it's crazy to think that like this is just someone's dad out there. And like their dad was just like, bro, I'm about to just start boiling lava and pouring it on stuff. Like, why not? Oh, steak with lava. This is a teaser of what human flesh would look like with lava on it. So let's see what the final result is here. This could be you. This could be what you experience. Can you just think about how painful that would be for a second? Like that was your butt cheek. Oh, that is disgusting. Just think, I mean, that's actually just, that's horrifying to think about. This is just, that's rancid. Let's try ice. I thought it would explode. Just goes right through it. Whoa. Whoa, this is preparing me for like one day on a quiz show where they ask what happens when you put lava on ice. I know that it doesn't explode now, I guess. Jelly, that's, that's a pretty crazy one. Okay, no, that's good, no more. Don't do too much. Oh, it just, it just, whoa. I did not realize you could melt jelly or jello. Like I didn't know that was like a thing. I just thought it was permanently jellified. Oh, banana, oh, you throw it in there. Bro, let's go. Oh, that was so not exciting. 
I thought it would sink in there or something. Or That's pretty gnarly. Like, that's really cool. I remember studying, like, slow magma back in high school. And I always thought this was, like, the coolest lesson. That looks like a beating heart, doesn't it? It looks like an animal's heart. Dude, the ice is winning. Wow, the ice actually somehow beat lava. So like now, if you're gonna choose to be a firebender or a waterbender, you gotta pick water because water's gonna be fire in the avatar world now. Oh man, is this gonna fart a bit? I don't know how I knew that. Can some, how did I just look at this and just be like, oh, that's gonna fart? Like that is a weird thing to have said and even weirder to have gotten correct. Oh, it's coming out. Oh, I say that sometimes when I poop. Wow, well, he's actually pouring this in an actual pool though. Like this seems like a really, really not good idea. Like if it's your pool, what if it like burnt, like if this fell to the bottom and like burn a hole in your pool, do you know how expensive that would probably be to fix? This is a lava, what is that? Oh, there's lava in the thing. Oh, you're pouring it into water here now in a glass jar. Whoa, is that obsidian? Is that how obsidian is made? Cause I think it's water and lava in Minecraft and that looks like obsidian to me. If this is how obsidian is made, dude, Minecraft actually taught me something. Cause I feel like I didn't know that. Why do people just own these by the way? What is this? Like you just have lava chambers and coconuts like Whoa. It's the nut in the coconut. Wait, no, the coconut is the nut. All right, let's get a couple of fruit out of the way then real quick before we get to human flesh. Uh, this is gonna be a watermelon. Nice little sizzle in there. Reacts with the water quite nicely. See, that's why I thought it would explode. Why does it explode in a watermelon, but not water? What is causing that? Oh, it's like art. Oh, that's super hot. Wow, it's pretty though. Oh, this is Chick-fil-A sauce. Oh. I didn't think it would poop like that. That was really shocking to me. We're getting some very exciting clips right now. The Orbeez. These are cool because they pour it in and they actually create art, but I've never seen it for sale. So I don't know if people like don't buy this and it's like actually just, oh, never mind. I'm wrong. This is not what I thought it was. I guess I didn't realize Orbeez had like a soul and were capable of experiencing pain. It sounds like a thousand tortured souls being absolutely murdered by hot lava. Let's see what we got here. A little hot dog versus lava. Like it, it looks like it's slipping. You see that? It slips right off the dog. I feel like it would be stickier. Maybe it's just a slick. Slick little rope there. That looks uh, actually pretty awful. Are you gonna eat it? It actually might not taste bad. Uh, I'd love to see you take a bite of it. I don't mind a little crunch on my dog, but I feel like that's gonna have so much crunch it's gonna be like eating a potato chip or charcoal. What Let's try dry ice. When you pour lava on dry ice. So nothing? I mean, I feel like it should explode. It just turns to glass. Is that a glass or obsidian? Oh, that's cool design though. But like, cause I thought obsidian needed water and dry ice is not water. So does it work or is it just needs cold? Lava flowing into the ocean. This guy's very, very close to hot lava. I mean, can we just take a second to realize the water has to be hot here. I mean, it literally looks like the guy is sitting next to lava. Like, I don't understand. Is it not warm? Does it not heat up the water? Oh, look at that. It definitely seems like ice is the winner though in most of these. Like ice generally is gonna win. Molten copper this time, that's a little different. Look at that, it just slips right off. It doesn't even like melt it. That is super weird. If you pour lava on dry ice, nothing happens. But if you put dry ice in lava, the dry ice would probably disappear or explode. <laughs> Don't use salt. Wait, can salt? Is that salt melting? What is liquid salt called? I've never even heard of that. Is that a thing? I mean, it has to be, I guess. What is this called? Liquid salt? What? Like, could you like drink that? Would it kill you? All right, now we've got human versus lava. This dude just straight up runs over actual lava on the ground like it's nothing and he's fine. Like that's actual moving lava. My boy just ran out. He actually had flames underneath his feet. If you guys did like this video, click here to subscribe. I'll see you later. Peace.